Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are here today. I am Rosie of a Rosie touch, surprisingly, and I am doing Mother's Day illustrations again. So I've obviously done these a long time ago because they have been presents for Mother's Day for my grandmother and my mother. This one is for my grandma and I decided to do a mother duck with her four little ducklings following behind because my grandma quite likes storybook illustrations, like she really loves the original Winnie the Pooh stuff by E. H. H. Shepard, blah, blah, couldn't say that, and stuff like that. So I kind of went for more of that kind of style and I wanted to practice watercolours more because I'm still learning all of that kind of stuff. So uh, both of these images, uh, the second one with the cat, which you kind of saw vaguely there, will be another video. And I did that in watercolour also, and that one's for my mum. And yeah, so what I first did was I went out and I bought some frames from a second hand shop because they were really cute. And one of them was like uh, money went towards charity for it. So instead of buying brand new frames, I thought I'll buy something that's going to help other people. And they were a bit more unique and a bit more interesting, a bit of sort of history behind them, I suppose, because they would have belonged to a different person at one point and had maybe some sort of nice story behind it, which I'll never know. But well, actually in one of them, I think, yeah, the one that I got to give to my grandma, I believe, had an image in it, which I didn't see until I opened the frame to put the finished painting in. And because it was turned around, so it was the back of a photograph and I didn't realize. And um, it was of a woman in a hospital and she was like an elderly woman and she was holding a new baby. So I'm assuming it was a grandmother and her grandchild, which I thought was pretty cool because I was doing this as a Mother's Day present for my grandma. So that kind of worked out. Um, kind of weird coincidence, but fun coincidence in my mind. Um, but yeah, it was really pre-frame. It had like, it was sort of a very pale gold on like wood effect. So it wasn't like super shiny in your face. You could see that it had like wood grain to it. And then on top of that, there was um, almost like peacock feathers kind of on it. So I thought it was pretty, I quite liked it. And she liked it as well. So that was cool. Um, so I got them and I took out the glass and drew around it on pieces of paper. So then I could cut the image to the size of the glass of the frame. And on my mum's one, there was one of those insets, like inserts, I don't know what to call them. The framing board, I think is what you call it. I should know what it's called. I did it for like university, I had to frame my own pictures. But anyway, the framing board, <laughs> I took that out and I drew around that to get the size of the piece of paper, then cut them out and then got to drawing and painting, which you get to witness now, where I initially just slapped down a ton of water on top of the duck picture to try and wet it for making the sky and I'm still learning how to use watercolour so it's not fabulous. I need to do a lot more practice. Hopefully gonna do some of this this week which would be cool. So currently I have my feline companion all over my desk so I can't actually do any artwork because she's enjoying the sunshine over there meaning it's full of a cat and not full of art like I wish it was. Thanks! She's having a great time. <laughs> she looks super happy. If I remember, I might insert a picture just to be like, look at the cuteness. Um, but I might not remember, even though I'm literally recording this right now and will be finishing it up and editing it. And there's a jump there. I suppose I didn't film doing the ground, but it was the same sort of process. I just wet it and then added colour and then I let all of that dry and then I went in to do the mini details of like the stones and the plants and stuff, which was quite fun. Sorry for any loud noises in the background. It's currently Easter half term and next door's kids are like playing Fortnite or something and murdering each other so that's going on if you can hear that in the background hopefully you can't but I'm in a terraced house you can hear a lot of what goes on next door <laughs> um, hopefully they can't hear me recording this video or commenting on their loudness but um yeah so it's quite fun doing this and doing all the layering of all the different colors and things and trying to get better at watercolor still but using the teeny tiny detail brush, which these brushes, I don't even know if they're actually any good for watercolor. I mean, I made it work for this, I think, but they are technically like just those cheapo brushes, which you get in a pack and it's like suitable for all types of painting. And it's just, they're not, but it's what I can afford right now. <laughs> it was like a pound. Um, so I'm just working with cheap supplies at the moment. Hopefully no one minds that and you appreciate 
what I managed to do with my cheapy art supplies that I own. The only thing that's semi-expensive is my watercolours, which is like, it was £20 when I got it for a like £12 set of Winsor & Newton cotton and paints. So that's the most expensive thing I own and that was bought for me as a present. <laughs> so it doesn't come around with, like really count as me investing in it. Um, but yeah, anything else that I've purchased, like the mechanical pencil you can see to the side, again, was a pound and it came in a set of three. And then I got my paintbrushes for a pound. Uh, the paper was also bought along with the paints for me. So thanks again to mum, she's superhuman, who helped me out with that. Uh, but yeah, and then I think there's like, a bit of money went towards the pens and the like eraser and stuff, but it wasn't loads. I got them on Amazon quite cheap. <laughs> so small increments of investment happening, which is nice. And I want to save up to get a screen tablet because I think I will do a lot better with one of them and enjoy it more because I've never actually, I've never really used one, but I like the idea of it being similar to drawing on paper, but digitally. Whereas right now I have a Intuos tablet somewhere. I think it's an Intuos. I might be making that up, but um, it's old and it's small and I struggle. I mean, I'm okay at it. I've been using them. I've been using normal graphics tablets where you have it and you look up at the screen, um, like your normal computer screen and you're drawing on a pad. So you're not actually looking at what you're doing on the pad. I've had them sort of tablets for like uh, how many years now? Gotta do maths. 15 years I've been using those. Ooh, that makes me feel old. But yeah, so for 15 years I have been using the traditional oldie type tablets. Um, and I would like to finally like be able to upgrade to a screen tablet and see what kind of magical masterpieces I can make with that. That'll be quite fun. Uh, I do have a digital piece that I've already recorded and edited and will be going up in the lineup of videos. I think next week I'll probably post that at some point so you can see me work digitally and I haven't worked digitally in a very long time. So <laughs> please be gentle with me when you watch that one if you've heard my previous play in this one. I'll probably play again when I actually record that but I record the voiceover for that one. But yeah, so now I'm just adding in like the shadows and things and then I go back because I wasn't sure what colour I wanted to do the ducklings, but then I kind of looked into it and I actually looked up a reference <laughs> for ducks. Because I looked up a reference for duck legs, but I didn't really think of a reference for duck colours and breeds, I suppose, of duck. And I went back and I went in and I was like, oh yeah, ducklings are like fluffy little yellow things, but they've got like pinkish coloured beaks and legs. So I went back in and sort of tried to do that um, after I zhuzh up the clouds by the look of it. And hopefully at the end, or even now, I can't really tell because I'm recording this voiceover on like with my mini screen in my editing software so I can't fully see the detail of the image. But hopefully when we close up the image at the end or once I finish rendering this video and look at it again, you'll be able to see all the feathering detail that I did on the mother duck because I was quite proud of that I have to say. But it is very pale because she is white so I made it a very light like grey sort of colour. Um, using pins grey very lightly with a lot of water to try and achieve that effect. So hopefully it looks good. <laughs> but yeah, it appears, oh yeah, now I'm finally, I think, gonna, yeah, I'm doing the pink on the little ducklings and then the yellow. Um, but yeah, I was actually very happy with how this piece came out. At the end, I go in with the fine liner pen and sort of go over the ducklings lines because they got a little bit faded out in the water. Um, in the paint, I should say, and go in and add some like ground dots if that makes sense to anyone. <laughs> I just put some dots all over the ground to make it look like textured and dusty and dirt like and stuff. That was me picking up the picture for whatever reason. Oh, I, was, I kept trying to dry it. <laughs> I'm trying to dry in between each layer by blowing on it, you know, professional. But uh, it was to add the shading on the little ducklings, which were super cute. I was like very happy with how this turned out, to be honest. I mean, there's things I'd fix if I did it again. I was rushing this. It was like three in the morning before Mother's Day. And I was like, gotta get these finished, gotta get these done. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how they turned out. Quite like them. I hope whoever watched this also likes them. Um, and if anyone did watch this, thank you very much for watching. I'm very grateful for uh, anyone who did. And if you, 
want to see more then feel free to leave a like or comment or whatever or subscribe or anything it's up to you i'll probably keep doing this because i'm finding it quite fun uh but yeah this is the finished product so anyway thanks very much for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in another video in the future bye